It was high time we left Nassau for beautiful Rose Island. The winds were a little indecisive, but we hoped conditions would stay in our favour, ensuring a comfortable anchorage upon arrival. We couldn't wait to explore this island's marine realm. Go, <laughs> Go to Sarah. Go, go. go. <laughs> But there's a saying, nothing good comes easy. And today proves no exception. Stay tuned as we navigate through a number of bommies. There are bommies everywhere and it's like a minefield. Over uncertain depths, all the while keeping close <laughs> eyes on our two little ones. Anyway, welcome back on board the Vagabond. We're going on our eighth year, Riley and I have been cruising for. Pretty nuts really when we look back on how many miles we've sailed now and the adventures we've had. This week, we're sharing a new one with Riley's cousin Jack, his girlfriend Etta, Sarah, who's been crewing on board for a while, our kids Lenny and Darwin, and of course, you guys. Hey, you guys. Whoa. Jack's loosening off on that. Oh, it sounded like we hit a log or something. Welcome back, we're sailing right now. We're going to Rose Island. It was definitely time that we left Nassau, so we've got a little spot up here on Rose Island. But the problem is, it could be really uncomfortable in the anchorage. So we'll get there and reassess because it looks like it might be okay, but the wind's changing direction. You never know exactly what the weather's gonna do. So hopefully that's all good. And then we can hang out and spearfish and free dive. Yeah, the island looks beautiful. The clarity of the water. I really need to go snorkeling in some clear water again. It's only been a week and I'm like... You're spoiled. Give me, I'm spoiled, yeah. I was just reading about Rose Island. Apparently this is where locals had their holiday homes, which is a good sign. Not just uh, rich <laughs> other people. <laughs> You would have heard me talking last episode about the miracle of sailing upwind, which is what we've been doing. We had 15, it's down to 13 and a half, 14 knots on the nose. So we've been sheeted in hard and tight and flat sails to point upwind with both dagger boards down fully. You are not gonna be able to hear me, but I'll try to explain what's going on. Wind and waves are coming from here. Jack is at the helm. Sarah and Etta are keeping an eye out for bombies. We're gonna crack off and sail downwind a bit and thread the needle between these two islands. Uh, there's reef either side. As we come the other side of this island, we'll pull around this way and hopefully be able to sail and maintain a course um, just going parallel with the island over here. If not, we'll have to turn up into the wind, drop the mainsail, and motor the last 0.5 of a mile. When the tide's coming this way, and we have wind and waves coming this way, we get... Exactly, that's what's happening. Sea state. Looks quite narrow. <laughs> That'd be fine. This whole area from here to Nassau um, and south of Palm Key Marina, all the way around, it's it's a it's not to nuts. be trifled with. Yeah, yeah, no one talks about it that much, but like there are bommies everywhere, and bommy is like very yes. accurate because if you hit one of those when you're sailing, that ain't gonna be good, and they're everywhere. It's like a minefield. Right in the thick of it now, Jack's at the helm, so everything's all good. We're like in the maelstrom, and then just on the other side, it's just calm as anything. So in about 15 seconds, we're gonna be out of this cut, and everything will be really chill. Rose Island is a small island here in the Bahamas that lies five kilometers east of Paradise Island. The island has no formal residential infrastructure and no roads. We were quick to drop anchor, get in the dinghy and explore. It's really shallow here and the boys are complaining because they have to carry us to the beach. <laughs> Anything pointy? Navigable. All right, we can get out here. Thanks, guys. Sarah, my 
myself and the kids explored the beach while Riley, Jack and Etta went diving for hopefully some lunch. Crayfish was on the shopping list today. The tide is out right now and the sand is very squishy and there are all these little holes and inside the holes are giant worms and they're so alien. Are you freaked out? Yeah, really freaked out. Riley's been watching this sci-fi movie called Dune where there's these giant worms that come through the sand and like engulf people. And that's all I can think about right now. It's like a miniature version of that. Yeah. yeah. do some film and say what you've been doing. Are we on yeah. the beach? Yeah. Are we on the beach on the women's dog? Yeah, the women's dog on the room deep in the hole. I like the heart. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, I find another worm. Find another worm. Okay, let's go. Where'd it go? You dug it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let it. Let it go chase Sarah. No. Go ahead. <laughs> it's go chase Sarah. Go, go. Go get her. Go get her with the worm. She's scared. Go. <laughs> <laughs> you should say leave in the comments if these are your shorts. <laughs> no more sand. Washy, washy, wash. Wash, wash, wash. Yeah. Good boy. You're clean. All right. What are you knocking us up here, Sarah? <laughs> I'm gonna do some roasted potatoes with some herbs, and then gonna cook up some vegetables and add a bunch of eggs to make a bit of a frittata. <laughs> There's a full moon and everyone's losing their It's, <laughs> it's misshapen though, it's like an egg. Does that make it more beautiful or less? Uh, more. Okay. You like, you like imperfections? Yeah. Oh, I saw them That's good. for the first time when I was in here. Yeah. I'm actually standing up right now. We're in pretty shallow water, aren't we, Lenny? It's like a swimming pool. Fifteen knots from the north at like 5 a.m. and then 20 knots at 11 a.m. or 18. So I was thinking of re-anchoring over here, but then if it's if it's not very nice and then swings around this way and it becomes untenable, then we would have to sail in overcast conditions through that storm out there of coral heads. So it's been a really slow morning deciding what to do with our day. The boys are looking at the weather, wondering if we should move spots or not because there's some wind coming in this afternoon and it might not be that comfortable here. So I don't know if the decision's been made or not, but <laughs> We're going to the beach across the other side of the island. This way? All right. These guys are locals now. I flew the drone and it looked beautiful, so I really want to go see. Is that a proper blowout? Oh, no. Oh, no. Show me your phone. Did you already fix it? <laughs> it's called a blowout, Lenny. Prolapse, flippy floppy. No way. 
view from this place is awesome. Wow. Mama, Mama. What a view. Why do you reckon the house is abandoned, Riley? Because there's not, not really fantastic spearfishing around here. Oh, we were trying to get that coconut over there yesterday for like half an hour at least. Jack was throwing coconuts at a coconut and he hit it three times, but it didn't fall down. And shady, that's the best part. Wow. How nice is this? It's probably the best beach I've ever been on. You want me to go in the water with you? Yeah. We're just saying we're actually amazed that no one has come and found this beach and made it like a beach bar or built a little dock here. <laughs> I'll go in the water in a minute, Lenny. What are we doing, Riley? Pool. We're just moving spots because the wind is going to pick up to maybe even 20 knots from here and then here tonight. So I'm just... Um... That is 1.1, guys. So we got probably 0.2 under. Oh, Jack. Jack. Jack, Jack, Jack. Just, yep, sorry, just hold that. Thanks. Found a nice sandy patch. So cool watching all the lightning. It's lightning storms everywhere. It's nice to see like a 360 degree of all the sky. That's the dolphins. You dolphins. reckon? Are they dolphins or are they just rocks? Wow. Edda, you seen this one? We are all so squished. <laughs> Jack and Edda are the longest, so they've got to go on the edge. <laughs> Jack keeps complaining he wants us to get a 5x. <laughs> 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 How'd you both sleep? Uh, very good. Elena slept terribly. She came in this morning and gave me Darwin. And she's like, do you think you could please grab him? That stain tells a bit of a story, doesn't it, Darwin? <laughs> what did you do last night? After a night anchored by ourselves, it was time to sail into Palm Key Marina, where we'd be tying up La Vagabond just for a bit. We would be heading to bed as early as we could manage, so as to rise before the sunrise to fly over to the Abaco Islands, the most northern group of islands here in the Bahamas. After landing here, we were set to hop on our friend's powerboat that would take us across to Elbow Key, where Hope Town is. We couldn't resist showing Jack and Edda one of our favourite places in the Bahamas before they left. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This is tight. All right, so what's happened, Riley? I just, I got a riding turn there, so I just have to tie a rolling hitch here to take tension off this so we can loosen that. Textbook use of a rolling hitch there. It's like 5 a.m. and we're, for some reason we booked the early morning flight. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> Maybe because we're so excited to go to Hope Town. Baby, tell him I to on the plane. He's eating my dinner. Lenny, are you excited to go on the plane? Yeah? Oi. Behind the scenes here, Riley and I are kind of always low-key trying to convince our friends to buy sailboats and also move to the Bahamas. It's easy to do when the weather's nice, but this winter down here has brought a lot of crazy weather. And recently, a lot of our trips haven't exactly been the dreamy kind. Oh, 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 oh,
Luckily, our friends from the island had hooked us up with a pretty nice Airbnb with one heck of a view over the open Atlantic. Between the comfort from our new solid home and the bad weather, we were actually loving the cosy vibes. We're just having a rest. We've been up since 4.45 this morning and I was awake before then with Darwin. We're all really tired. Um, but Jack and Edda have gone to the mini market to get stuff to make a cheesecake. We're going to our friend's house tomorrow for a big get together. I've got to make some deviled eggs. Forgot about that. All right, now you can hop in. Hop in. You guys might actually remember back in 2019, we spent a fair bit of time here in the Abaco Islands, a group of islands that were most affected by Hurricane Dorian a Category 5 hurricane regarded as the worst natural disaster in the Bahamas' recorded history, with winds peaking at 185 miles per hour, or 295 kilometers per hour. The damage was catastrophic, with most structures flattened or swept to sea. At least 70,000 people were left homeless. This was the first time we've had an opportunity to come back since, and although a lot of areas still had a long way to go, it was nice to see Hope Town in particular looking so beautiful, like we remembered. We've had to move spots this morning. We're moving to the Yellow Bird. You guys have seen the Yellow Bird before in one of our videos. It's our friend Mike and Hannah's Airbnb which is so beautiful, but I, they had guests in it last night, so we had to stay somewhere else. Anyway. Yes, this is it. Oh, hang on. Straight up. Oh! Turn. Now turn. This is the one. This is the one. Oh, yeah. You got like that much. Okay, this is Darwin's first time eating bananas, and Edda's gonna do it. Okay. Pressure's on, Lenny. I mean, Darwin. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wait, is that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, Darwin. <laughs> right. Elena, where are we? This is where we stayed when Lenny was much more innocent and easy to deal with when he was like six or seven months old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so annoyed. <laughs> oh. We spent a couple of days soaking up some moments with our kids, our friends on the island, and Jack and Edda before they'd leave us. In no time, we were back on board the Vagabond and felt ready for another big mission out at sea. We got you back, David. Yes. Yay. Finally. <laughs> Everything's very, very chill. I don't really have to do too much. As in, there's no wind, uh, so we can manoeuvre very, very easily. There's a little bit of wind out there and it's gonna pick up later in the day. So it's perfect for leaving the marina. Going to do a 360 in this little space. And go whoop. Out the channel. This one is dirty. We're going to a new place. Yeah, and this, I don't, I don't like this one. You don't like this place anymore? Yeah. I think it's a pretty good place. We have had the best week and a half going from. Atlantis with Jack and Edda to Rose Island, then coming here to Palm Key Marina, tying off the lines for a bit so we could go to Hope Town, one of our favorite places in the world. And today we are sailing to the Exumas, which is up there on our list again of best places we've ever been. The water, as you can imagine, it's crystal blue, lots of sea life, so many islands. And we've got David on board again. He comes and goes, he has other jobs here and there. Today's gonna be good. It's a full day to get to our first anchorage in the Exomas. Yeah. <laughs> 
we're going to leave you guys here, but thank you all for watching. Um, what's going to come back next there. week? Yeah, we're going to leave everyone back there. Not sure what's going to happen next week. We never really know what's going to happen. No, but please do stick around. We enjoy your company. Yeah. And uh, have a good one. No, <laughs> that's great.